Let's take a look at this example. Please notice that we have given a VD. Okay, so this is my VD. And I have given VDD. So I can find a very easy ID. ID is the current which will go through the drain of my transistor and through the resistor RD. So let me write down the formula. So we have ID is equal to I RD, this is the same thing, and we can find this by simply subtracting VDD minus VD over RD, where VDD is equal 16 volts, this is my VDD, minus 10 volts over RD, which is equal 4.7 kilohms. This is equal 16 minus 10 equals divided by 4.7 exponent 3. This is equal 1.27 milliamps. So this is my current ID. Next, I'm supposed to find VG. VG is the voltage at the gate of my transistor. And I'm going to use the voltage division formula. Okay, so VG is equal VDD times R2 over R1 plus R2. This is equal 16 volts times R2, 1 mega ohm over open parenthesis 6.8 mega ohms plus one mega ohm. Okay, so VG is equal 16 times one exponent six divided by 6.8 meg plus one meg is equal 7.8 exponent six this is equal 2.05 volts. Okay, so this is 2.05 volts. This is my VG. Next, I'm supposed to find VS. VS is the voltage from source to ground. Okay, so VS is also equal to VRS. Okay, because voltage from source to ground is also a voltage across resistor RS. So I can say that that uh, this is IS times RS. But please notice that ID is equal to IS. You're supposed to remember that. Okay? So I can simply write that VS is equal my ID, which is equal one point 27 milliamps times RS, which is equal 3.3 kilohms. This is equal 1.27 exponent 3 negative times 3.3 exponent 3 equals 4.19 volts. Okay, so this is my voltage Vs. Next, I'm supposed to find Vgs. Vgs is the difference between the voltage at the gate and voltage at the source. So I have Vg minus Vs, where Vg is equal to 2.05 volts minus 4.19 volts okay so this is equal 2.05 minus 4.19 this is equal negative 2.14 volts and I have also voltage VD and I have voltage VS so I can find VDS 
VDS is equal VD minus VS. VDS is the voltage between drain and source. So VD is equal 10 volts minus Vs, which is uh, equal 4.19 volts. This is equal 5.81 volts. Okay, so this is my Vds. Next, I'm supposed to find IDSS. You have to remember the formula. ID is equal IDSS 1 minus VGS over VGS of okay VGS of everything is raised to the second power okay someone is going to say oh we do not have VGS of in some books we are going to see VGS of in some books we are going to see VP so uh, this is nothing else just our VP so we have to solve this formula for for IDSS so in order to do so we're supposed to divide both sides equation by the parenthesis so I'm going to have 1 minus VGS over VGS of okay raised to the second power and the same you're supposed to have over here 1 minus VGS over VGS of okay to the second power so IDSS IDSS is equal of course these two are going to cancel out this is ID over open parenthesis 1 minus VGS over VGS of to the second power this is equal ID ID we found is equal 1.0 27 milliamps over 1 minus VGS we found VGS is equal negative 2.14 volts over VGS of we said this is equal our VP okay negative 3 volts negative and negative will cancel out and everything of course is traced to the second power so we have 1.27 exponent 3 negative divided by open parenthesis 1 minus 2.14 divided by 3 close parenthesis to the second power this is equal 15 point 45 milliamps okay and now i can say that my problem is solved